um, I'm not sure how many years we've been doing this. I'm thinking it's at least six. But it's held at the Freedom Church right mm-hmm. next door to the Parsonage across the street from Rustic Lodge. Yeah. Yeah, it, it'll run from 2 o'clock till 6 p.m. on uh, Sunday, July 21st. All proceeds benefit the, the Veterans Homeless Shelter. Mm-hmm. Um, dash pla- We have dash plaques uh, for the first 100 registered card, food trucks, live music, kids entertainment. We're going to have a 50-50 drawing and a kid's bouncy house and free school supplies for the kids. Nice, nice. So it's a car show, and it's also helping out the kids too. Yes, yes. Oh, we they they used it constantly last year. Oh yeah. So it's yeah. a hit and miss, and we're just praying for the sunshine. Yeah, you get sunshine. If you don't have the sunshine, folks are reluctant to bring yeah. out their little babies, their yes. cars, right? Yeah, they, we have some nice car show up there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, how many cars did you have last year? Um, I believe the estimate was two hundred and fifty. Wow. Maybe more. They we they don't count them sure. as they come in, but our part the parking lot at the Freedom Church, which is where we hold the mm-hmm. car show, was pretty full. Yeah, and uh, people can park across the street at Rustic Lodge because um, there's not much parking at the church with the car show cars. Yeah, yeah, that, that they sense. can park over there and come straight across the street. Yeah, yeah, and and enjoy that uh, again. It's July the what twenty first. Twenty first. Uh huh. Yes. And and folks can and, and you don't have to pre-register anything. Just come on in, bring your car. Yes, yeah, terrific stuff. So uh, if you have a car, you can get that into the show. And if you just want to see the cars, uh, they always get a great crowd of, of folks coming by to see those wonderful automobiles that folks have. Uh, and it benefits the Veterans Parsonage, uh, which is uh, a, a really really important facility here in Indiana. Of course, uh, uh, once. Uh, the church itself made that available. You were quick to jump on that and uh, adapted it to to make it uh, a real asset for our veterans. Yes, sir. Veterans. Yes, sir. Completely. I believe that the parsonage has been open for eleven years. I believe it's or been so. eleven years. I believe so. Wow! Wow! Um, and you think I've of, been there three years. Think of the number of people that came through. Yes. Uh, it, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and, and the mission of the Veterans Parsonage is, is really important. It's to get yes. them back on their feet and, and get them uh, back into the working public and uh, able to get into a, an, an, an actual home in which they can, uh, they can live their lives. Yes, sir. Um, our motto is serving God by helping veterans. Mm-hmm. Um, last time I was on the radio last year, um, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I got a little, uh, I didn't get in trouble, but I got pulled. Well, yeah. But, yeah but, that, that, uh, as a matter of fact, I had the T-shirt on last year, and I didn't even think of it. You know. <laughs> well, what do you got today, Marine Corps? Yes, this got- Marine Corps T-shirt. Marine Corps T-shirt. Yes, I'm oh. a Marine veteran. Uh-huh. Um, once a Marine, always a Marine. Sure. Um, yeah. I, I, I enjoy it immensely, helping these veterans uh, yeah, better themselves. So, so take us into the daily life uh, at the, the the homeless parsonage. What are some of the things that you do as an administrator? Okay, um, as the manager, I I encourage the guys with information to better themselves and to get help with rent. And um, there there is veterans leadership program VLP, and also soldiers on. Um, ICAP in Indiana, and we also have a HUD um, representative in Altoona at the Altoona VA building. Mm -hmm. Um, And they all help um, as much as they can to give them at least the first month's rent and deposit. That's what happened with our sailor that got got, uh, put into a house. So he got put into a house, and they helped with the the rent and the deposit. Yes, they did. And and now he's got a job, and he's... uh, He's hopefully back on his feet and able yes, to continue. Yes, he is doing really good. Yeah. Really good. Well, that's terrific news. That's re- And that's really what it's all about. Isn't that's it? exactly what it's all about. Yeah. Fabulous. But, so for folks uh, who want to learn more, and, and maybe even if they can't come to the car show, they want to make a contribution, what should they do? Um, they can send a check to um, our address at the Parsonage, which is 2164 Oakland Avenue. Indiana, it's directly across from Rustic Lodge. Yeah. Um, people can drop off uh, 
food or clothing that they don't need. We get a lot of, uh, unfortunately, we get a lot, I don't know, it's fortunately and unfortunately, um, when a veteran or an elderly person passes away, um, we usually get the um, donations mm-hmm. from their yeah. family. Yeah. Monetary donations are always welcome. Yes. Uh, and, and you certainly need the money. Uh, but uh, toiletries and those sorts of things as well, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. All, the, all that stuff um, we can use. Yeah. Um, our biggest um, request is uh, gift cards so we can purchase meat. And fresh vegetables mm-hmm. for the parsonage for the guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I cook sometimes for the whole house. Sometimes the individuals will cook their own meals. Yeah, um, we don't generally eat this at the same time. Um, everybody has their own time to eat. Were you a cook in the service? Don? No, no. I was a marine. I was a mechanic <laughs> in the Marine Corps. But my, I learned from the best cook in the world. Well, there you my go. My mother. Your your mom. You yes. use mom's recipes and everything, huh? Well, I improved in a couple of them. <laughs> uh, she, good thing she didn't hear that. Oh, she did. <laughs> she, she did, up in heaven above. Uh, it's wonderful. So, uh, oh, you've got a, a golf outing coming too? Yes. Okay, so this is going to be Salzburg American Legion Post 57 golf outing. It's a four-man scramble at the Apollo Elks Golf Course on Saturday, the 24th of August. 8 a.m. shotgun start, $75 a person, 300 for a team. Um, and um, dinner will follow at the Legion. You can give Brad a call at 412-289-8957 if you want information and to get into the scramble, right? Very good, Don. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I am appreciative that uh, you were able to come in today. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world to get here today, was it? <laughs> no, they had um, the, the side street here is blocked off, no parking. And yeah. Of course, I got behind an Indigo bus, but I made it. You I'm made a couple it. minutes late, which is okay. That's okay by me, as long as you got here. That's that's the important thing. Don, thanks for the visit. Thank you, sir. Have a good day, Andy. You too. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Fox News coming your way, top of the hour, just a little bit away from now, just a couple of minutes, and then we visit with you from the WCCS newsroom with Josh Whittison. It's Indiana in the morning at 2 before and 9.